Hey guys, and welcome back to Ganji Plans. My name is Rebecca. I am also known as Ganji, the creator of Ganji Plans Printables. The first video of every month, I like to go over the inserts I created and released in the previous month uh, to give you an idea of how I um, had, you know, thoughts going into them, how I used them in my own personal planning, had designs for using them for you, and to give you some ideas, basically, for your own planner system. Um, it has been a crazy year of releases. I've been releasing an average of like five a month, or at least that's been the goal. Um, and there are five new weekly inserts this month, or five new inserts and four of them are weeklies. One of them is something special, which you'll see. Um, I wanted to let you know right now I'm going to be slowing down a little bit in the new year because uh, I've got a good catalog built up and I'm tired and I am going into my third trimester. So, um, But today we're going over all the inserts released in December 2021. All right, sorry about audio quality if it's weird. The heater's running, and honestly, I'm too cold to care. I'm going to try to remove it um, in post, but whatever. We are starting with insert 65. Um, I wasn't sure before, but yeah, it's five weeklies plus one extra. So insert 65 is a basic week on one page. This is something that didn't exist before. Um, you've got you know, Monday through Sunday down the side, um, space for like a grid. I would probably put like events here and tasks here. Um, usually when I have something like this, I would do like, um, dinner on one of these lines per day and stuff like that. Um, it helps me to plan things out, but that's just the way I do it. I think a lot of these, uh, on one page type things, like I've been using for my month on one page I have set up right now. I'm combining it with other things to create like a whole set, um, that, you know, a, a set up a collection of, I don't know, inserts used all together. So I think this would be a great uh, one to use in conjunction with another week on one page or in conjunction with some other to-do list or project page you've got on the other side. So simple, uh, useful. Insert 66 is a week on two pages. So you've got your um, days of the week across the top this time. Monday through Friday are a smaller box than uh, Saturday, Sunday are because you know it's an odd number, you got to spill it some way. So, this is the way it's done. Um, a little bit of space for like events and a date, and then a couple uh, lines here at the bottom. Didn't want this part to get too big so that we can save space for everything else. There's a big to do list here. This section I would probably personally use for like a, a goal for the week. Um, it could be just something decorative, or it could be like a highlight of the week, you know, like oh, this is the week that we're. Uh, we have this party we're going to, so I'm really excited for that, or whatever it is. Um, this is the theme <laughs> of, oh, this week I'm really going to focus on getting that one room clean. This section, this section, I think these are going to show up on a couple other inserts, possibly two. Sorry, it's been <laughs> it's been a little bit since I designed this one. But um, the design in my head is I use these for things like planning um, the load of laundry you're going to do every day, or what you're going to have for dinner. Um work schedules, uh, babysitter schedules, that kind of thing that um, you can say, you know, put the header of like dinner at the top and then Monday we're having spaghetti, Tuesday we're having leftovers, blah, blah, blah. Um, this section here should be just the right size for a strip of washi tape, but you can use it for anything, but it's, you know, it's grid so you can use it for anything, but it's also the width of some washi tape. So there's some specific spaces for decorative and fun things going on here. Notes, next week section for things that uh, don't have a spread to go on to next. And then this section here is either a habit tracker or an Alistair Weekly. Um, when you've got a checklist like this, generally I would use just the checklist for to-dos and then use this just for a habit tracker. But um, I've also used this kind of section for content planning so I can look ahead and say, okay, I need to have that done by Thursday. So I've got to, you know, work on it Wednesday, blah, blah, blah. And I check it off as I go, that kind of thing. So week on two pages. Then insert 67 is a, this is the one that I have been using. Uh, this is the rolling weekly. And I did a whole video explaining how I use it when I set it up for the first time. And then I did uh, an update the week after showing how I moved on to week two. I am now in my, I think third or fourth, I think my fourth week in this rolling weekly and it's working really well. Um, did I, I started on, I want to say like Friday last week or something like that. Um, and so I have it rolling through to like 
next Monday, I think, and I'm currently recording this on Wednesday, and I'm still in the first column because it hasn't been a super crazy busy. Like, I didn't really use my planner over the weekend, and so I saved all that space, and I'm still able to use it. Um, and this will go until either I run out of space on these uh, daily boxes or run out of space in this column um, for dailies, just like rapid log Bujo style dailies. Um, this column can also be used for those Bujo style dailies, um, but I currently have it actually with a header for this week. So if there's any tasks, like there's some things that I want to try to get done this week. And so I have them on a weekly to-do list and that's just up in the corner here and then things to look forward to in the next week because you've got like partial weeks going on here and I just wanted to remember um, things that need to happen. So things that are coming up on the horizon. So these are the last few that were released just like on the 30th. This one is a weekly with fold out list. So it's not going to make a lot of sense. Hopefully it should make more sense than it does in the preview image. This here is the right page and this here's the left page. So we're going to go from left to right. Um, so it's a fold out. It's shaped the same as like insert 37 with the weekly fold out. Um, so you've got a weekly or like a checklist, basically a general checklist. This could be a great place to have your checklist popped out while you are doing other things. You can be flipped to another project page somewhere else in your your journal, whatever, and you still have your checklist listed here. Um, and then the weekly itself is inside the journal. Like if this is the, the edge of the journal itself, this is the fold out, right? So this part is inside the journal. I've seen weeklies that have like the fold, the weekly part on the fold out. I wanted something that had this to-do list on the fold out because I feel like that makes more sense for the way I, my brain works and I have the weekly where it is. I would put, you know, events and I could doodle, I could use stamps or whatever to make that fun. Um, but then like this is the practical actual checklist. Then we move to the right. You've got those two columns, the same as with the rolling weekly where you have your columns for dailies. So there's room for rapid log dailies. Um, I find a lot of times when you have two columns, you can fit a lot of stuff in there. Um, even in the pocket size, I'm finding I can fit at least a full week uh, on these two columns, depending on how much I want to use the daily, but you know, that's fine. And then this page here is a grid page. If you run out of space for your dailies, you can use it for that, or you can use it for note taking, project planning, whatever. Um, it needed to be folded out on the right side as well so that you can have the back of this page. If that makes sense. So you've got a fold out on either side so that you can have a fold out on the left. You have to fold out on the right. Um, so it'll fold out all the way. You've got basically four pages of space in the space of one spread. I hope this is making sense. If it doesn't, I could probably just do like a short video to have like this printed out and show you how it works as a mock-up. I'll probably put up some gallery images on the listing at some point, but um, let me know if that doesn't make sense to you, but I think it's pretty straightforward. Then insert 69 is an, a week on one page. So this has similar boxes at the top to like this week on two pages where you've got the smaller during the week and the larger ones on the weekends. Um, but just look at like half of it. We're just going to look at this one because it's on one page. Don't get distracted by pages next to each other. Somehow that keeps throwing me off. So you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday here just on top of one page. Then you have your Habit Tracker slash Alistair Weekly. If this is the only checklist you got for the week, then I'd probably use it as an Alistair Weekly. And then again, you have these dinner, work schedule, babysitter schedule, um, you know, recurring things that happen every day you can go here. You could use this for health tracking, you know, if you were taking your blood pressure every day or if you want to, you know, anything like that. You could use this for habit tracking too, or if a habit is something that's not just like a yes, no, Boolean property, like check a box. It could be like, you know, I made a habit of, you know, doing some sort of exercise every day. And so on Monday I walked and on Tuesday I stretched and on Wednesday I did cardio. Um, there's all kinds of things you can do. But again, this could combine with any other insert. So if you wanted just, you know, a nice big habit tracker, but then on the other side of the page, you could have just a straight checklist or you could have, you know, an uh, Eisenhower matrix to really get your head around your tasks or a project page that you're focusing on for that week. Um, that combo can be something really useful. So there you go. And then the last insert for the year 
Insert 70 brings us to a nice round number, and this is a little bit something different and fun. It's a completely different format. This does not come, as you see, it doesn't start with the letter at the beginning of the model number. It's just 070. Uh, mini notes. This was inspired by the jot pads that came with my file of facts when I bought it forever ago, and I did a video about those. Um, I One of the things I expressed in that that was frustrating to me is that they were a little bit too wide for the pocket planner. So these are exactly the width of a pocket planner, three and a quarter inches. Um, and then they are half the height of a pocket planner. So you can, you know, put them anywhere you want in the pocket size, because those have six evenly spaced rings, but every other size of six ring binder is gonna have three and three. So you can put this either on the top or on the bottom. It'll fit in any size of six ring planner. As long as you've got those, you know, three placed together, you can just punch it and stick it in there. And then it's just a little, tiny little note card you can stick wherever. It's like having a post-it note without having to worry about it being sticky or having somewhere to stick it to. Um, these can be great as like something to add on if you just need like a little temporary or like something that you don't want to cover the entire spread. I'm gesturing with my hands like that's gonna make sense. But if you want something that's just gonna like flip over the bottom half of your weekly while still leaving the top part with your days listed, that kind of thing. Um, these are great for like, I'll literally just rip them out without even um, taking open the rings. To use these for quick little notes, you can, um, you know, write your phone number and hand it to somebody or you could use it for a grocery list. Um, you just don't want to forget a few things that you're running in for. These all have fun little, you know, sayings and useful things on top. So, you know, to do today, take note, don't forget. And then it's also all in the back um, opposite. So if you print these back to back, they will say to do on the front and on the back of the same one. You could always print um, page one twice if you wanted that to be different. Um, and you can just, you know, keep handy, save for later. You can use the one you want or just ignore it. Um, but it's just a little something additional. It's got a grid page so you can make it nice and tidy if you want to or make it super sloppy. Um, and these are just utilitarian and just a little bit more fun than a basic piece of paper or a sticky note. So that's all of them. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, if you keep track, um, most people probably don't look too closely, but I only barely got the last like two of those, three of them out um, on like December 30th. I'm usually much more on top of the ball when it comes to releasing my inserts. You can tell I was getting a little bit burnt out for that, um, but I have really been enjoying the designs and making them all and uh, getting them out for you, and I hope you guys have enjoyed them too. Let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite, which you're most looking forward to for your 2022 planning. Um, there's gonna be links to everything, all of the product listings and stuff in the description. Um, as well as to the shop proper, and you can check out all 70 insert designs that are available there. Um, and then don't forget to subscribe before you go. I post planner videos every Thursday, not just about my own stuff, though I do use a lot of my own stuff. I'm in a pocket planner, and I am in there uh, every week showing you how I use my planner to get my life organized as best as possible. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video Thursday. Bye!